In last week's video, my friends and I took a road trip to Keta. This is the part two of that vlog and I hope you guys enjoy it. So guys, we just left the house and we are about to start the adventures of the day. <laughs> Why did you see one? Yeah. Do you want to I said God when W for. Oh, there's a basketball court. Yeah, this is the school I went to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> is Keta really big or is just. Uh, Keta now is uh, amalgamation of a smaller settlement. Oh, okay. So if you are not from here, mm -hmm. you call it Keta. But we know the difference. Right. So right. this is Del Coffee. It's a suburb. Yeah. It's a suburb of Keta. Oh, okay. Where I cracked some bottles <laughs> last night. The school. Al Codel. Yeah. Bro. With who? <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I met some Kenyan lady there. Hey. Al Codel. Yeah, <laughs> The first stop of the adventure was a resort that is still in construction called The Chill. It was really cool to be able to walk around and see a resort before it's opening and I can't wait to visit once it's ready. And I was saying that like a lot of the spots in Accra get like crowded and like you know the popular yeah. spots. If you come to Ghana and if you've come here multiple times and you've not left Accra and explored outside of Accra, you are missing out. Um, so basically this is an eco lodge and everything here is done sustainably and it also runs as an NGO so people can stay here there's a restaurant here there's a bar here and basically all the money made from that is put back into community service and sports kids everything there's a whole section here um, it seems like a little school there's a volleyball court I would love to live here I would, come, I would love to come and stay here for like a couple of days because it seems like there are other um you know there are other people here that are staying which is cool young people for our third stop of the day we visited a place that was once a slave market it was a small space that had artworks on the walls dedicated to telling stories of the history of the place Every single time I visit a place like this, it's always emotional, but I also think it's very important to be aware and educated about everything that has happened in the past. In all of Africa, we have about 68 fortune castles, okay. which were used during the slave era, and then out of that, almost 64 is within the coast of Ghana. The rest will be found in Senegal, Mozambique, Congo, Angola, and Kenya. So while we are standing, this is the female section of the fort, where they kept the female slaves. But initially, no ventilations were created. All this was done in 1850, when the wow. fort was later sold to the British government due to Napoleon in Europe. So inside each of the cells, it takes between 40 to 50 slaves. Wow. Slaves defecate and suffocate, die due to dehydration. So when shipment is ready, the slaves were being counted and brought outside here. So over here, hot iron were being used to burn the mark on the various part of their body for easy identification. Mm -hmm. In those days, there was no birth certificate. In order to estimate their age, they always look at the state of their mm -hmm. Danish Norwegians lived in Keta for many years. Even some of the languages they spoke were integrated into the airway language. We have what we call gaffer. So Danish language means folk. We have sakisi, which means success. We have kakalak, which means cockroaches. We have chimini, which means light. We have Stega, which means strong. So all these are some of the borrowed languages. Mm -hmm. So I'll take you around and show you what we have. So once again, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So over here, this is where the female slaves used to bath. Mm -hmm. Anytime they were taking bath, the officers stood up there, <laughs> then they watched them down. So From some, up there? Yeah. And some watched them upset for sexual abuses. So, but then, so how many people can fit in the bath and how do they bath them? Yeah, so they will put them inside, I think about two or three in the bath. 
mm. in the bad place. And then they change them because they have to be in the shackle. Mm. Oh, that's their, their, yeah, their, yeah, their, their, their legs have to be in the shackle. Okay. Yeah, so they send the upstairs for even some were raped in the process. As a result of those abuses, the children were born out of it. And those are the mulattoes or the biracians we have in our community. We have Addison family, Jacobson family and so on. The Agus, the, the, Agus, the, the Queens and all those families. And because this fort was built in between two salty waters, in case there was a shortage of food drinking water, the slave drank from the same bathroom water. Mm -hmm. So this is the layout of this fort. You know, all the forts and castles in Ghana were mostly built close to the ocean. But this one was built about two to three miles away. And I told you earlier on, the year the sea started destroying it. So until 1980, that was the first time part of this fort was destroyed. Mm. Um, it continued to 1999 to 2000. And this is the money which was used by our sisters. Huh. The airways call it poetry. So, is this in particular, is this it? Yeah. Or well, this is just sample? No, this is just the money. So this how one, come no one took it? No, Are this you one, okay? you can't get this along the sea or the river. So, where mm. did they get, get it from? So, this one, it goes before you got, you get this, maybe you bought a land, you're about to build, or deep down the ocean or the river. Spine of a whale. Yeah, we're good to see it looks like a spine. <laughs> it does. What? Why is, why is the spine here? So, you know, when the slave ship was coming, this square tried to capsize the ship. So mm. they were able to kill it. Even before they bought them, they weighed them. And those who are not active to quest scale were left behind for another ship to come for them in three months' time. For, for the pork ship. Mm. Okay. So regularly, almost fly from Adan to Qatar. That whole the ground, the church can't get out of this place. But due to the thickness of the government, the government is into the government. And they put even mercury in. Which is... So he's the guy that's left in the force. He doesn't believe his ancestors came from Africa. Okay. So a friend told him to come to emancipation. So came in 1997 to Cape Coast, then he went back angrily, he was angry with the friend, why should you send me to see castle, it's big, but what shows? He want to feel spiritually, then he said, mm. have you been to a town called Keta? I said, no, so the following year, 98, he was here. To look the gates. Even the water, they pour it at the end of the gates. It goes in the liquids. Even the mm. food were thrown to them. So guys, this is the lighthouse. It doesn't look that tall, but apparently once you get up there, it's a something. The steps are very uncomfortable. Okay guys, this is actually kind of high. <laughs> Things we do for you guys to show you guys this prime content. Okay. You are welcome to Cape St. Paul Lighthouse. Thank, Thank you. you. Precise. Uh, this is the Cape St. Paul Lighthouse Tower. It was being established by the church in the year 1870. Purposely to be giving out signals to the sailors on top of the sea because they realized this particular place of the land is being projected into the sea to form an island or a cave inside the sea, okay. covered by sea water. Mm. So because of that reason, when the, the ships or those big vessels are traveling by to turn apart, they have to go not they have to go far from the shore, not to come close to the shore. Right? Because when they come close to the shore the boat may get stuck at the shore. Mm. Yeah. I know you all know what will happen when they get stuck at the shore. Mm, if you get somebody, destroyed, yeah, if you get destroyed, loss of properties and people can also die. And you, somebody asked, how tall was it? 
it about 120 feet. Hmm. Yeah, that was fun. We were there. Can okay, you imagine at the top? <laughs> okay, so that has brought us to not quite the end of our. Oh, sorry, I'm not. Am I in it? Hello? Okay. So, I think. Oh, there we go. I think this has brought us to almost the end of our day. Not quite, guys. We have a lot to do for the evening, the barbecue, the party. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna, we're just gonna have so much fun. And yeah. So, without further ado, let's just jump into another mascotilla, please. Another basimatu. Basmati rice. Basmati. Bring your face here. Yeah, yeah, no, there was so much space for you. Yay! Good night. Oh. <laughs> Good night. Yeah. That girl. Okay, it's a funny. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me just intro this vlog real quick. It's been a second since I've spoken to you. I think the last bit of this vlog that you've seen is the bonfire, which I didn't really explain. So basically yesterday after we finished the day off at the lighthouse, we went over to Nubuke's auntie's house because they were having a bonfire barbecue. So we went there, had some food, had some drinks, and it was just a really nice vibe with the bonfire and the beach was right there. It was a really, really nice beach house. So um, that was a lot of fun and then we came back. I didn't really vlog much of the bonfire, the food or anything. I might insert some snaps. Let me leave some space to insert snaps. Mm -hmm. So the food was great, the bonfire was great. And today is the day we're leaving and it's already like 9 something a.m. So we're gonna be leaving by 12 p.m. to back to Accra. So we have to move quickly, but today we're going to the lagoon. Let's go on the adventure. If you ever see me fighting the forest with a grizzly bear, help the bear! Cause that go need it. Yeah, I don't know. It's Guys, this is a sad moment. We're leaving. We're leaving. Ah! It's so sad. Guys, we're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> that was so fast. I'm not gonna lie. We ran us. We sprinted a marathon for you guys. We sprinted a marathon. That's what happened this weekend. A short time, supposed to be something that's supposed to be a marathon. We sprinted it because. We only had a weekend and we're now leaving and I'm wearing this hoodie is by Lillian Ayile. You guys should go and follow Let's her on Instagram. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. This is my friend's um, clothing brand, so you guys have to go follow, support. You see, we're all trying to make it in this life. So support, subscribe, so follow anyone. We just help, help, help. Hello to my YouTube channel, my name is Mubuke, thank you. And there we go, man, we're leaving Keta, we're leaving Keta. We're leaving Keta. Oh, this angle is actually not too bad. Like on the top? Yeah. Or is it just me? Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. All right, we're leaving Keta. Um, Uncle Kobe from... Oh. Villa More. Villa More um, gave us food to take with us. I, octopus, shrimp, some food. We're gonna eat in the car, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna. Maybe we'll do a car mukbang. <gasps> maybe we'll do a car Wait, mukbang. Put the camera off. What? Guys, the vlog is not going to end yet. I'm gonna vlog until this camera dies. Um, but we're gonna do a little mukbang in the car, probably just from us eating. But. Oh, I'm obsessed with this color, yeah, this hoodie. Wow. Yeah. Oh, we have food. Oh, look at that. This is the shrimp we got yesterday, right? Yeah. Can you eat the whole thing? No, it's not all for us. No, I mean like of the shrimp. Okay. Yeah. You can? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then that way we can have our own. Bag. 